If it wasn't for St. John's, I don't know where I would be. I um, had been to like 12 different churches uh, before I came to St. John's, and every one of those churches that I had been a part of um, had like spiritually uh, abused me. Um, I was um, spiritually abused because of my sexuality, my sexual preference. And um, I was told that um, I couldn't be me. I had to um, live a lifestyle that was according to um, what uh, the church that I was a part of believed. And um, I just got to the point where I got tired of um, being fake, unreal. And I just got to the point to where I just wanted to go somewhere where I could be me. Um, being in a place to where I would be accepted and loved for who I am um, is one of the other things that was very important to me. And this is that place um, to where um, I'm loved no matter who I am, um, no matter what you know my personality is like. You know, um, people are always able to you know um, relate to me in some sort of way. You know, the, the difference is, you know, people, you know, have never been judgmental whatsoever. And so that's what keeps me coming back. I tell my story of how when I first um, came here to St. John's, um, I had one question in mind um, that I asked um, Pastor Carlton when he was here. And um, I asked him, you know, um, does God love me? And he looked at me kind of weird and asked me, why, they, why are you asking me that question? And I told him um, about my experience out of all these 12 different churches that I went to. And um, I told him how I just couldn't be me. And I was told that I was going to go to hell. And, you know, and um, if I, you know, lived the life that, you know, I was happy with myself as far as being. And um, he told me, Pastor Carton told me that he couldn't give me the answer um, to that question. And so um, he told me, um, he said, I can give you scripture. He said, but what good is the scripture going to do to help you? Um, he said, the best thing I can tell you is to have that little talk with God and see what God says to you. And so um, I had that talk with God and, you know, and God revealed to me that, you know, he was perfectly fine with who I am. And, that I could love who I am, and um, but knowing me, I had to have scripture to back it up. I know that I had to have scripture to back it up, so I always tried to find different things to prove um, that who I was was okay, but I came into reality of finding out that none of that mattered. Um, but the only thing that mattered was that I had to love me and that God loved me for being who I am. Well, in reality, I'm more um, accepted of myself now. Um, when I first came here, um, I was a very shy person. Um, I was very in the closet about who I am. And now I'm just the type of person that would just tell the world, I, I don't care who you are. You know, I would tell the world who I am. You know, like me or don't like me. You know, you don't have to deal with me. You know, and so um, this uh, being here has made me more of an outspoken person. Um, I've learned to love who I am in spite of who, you know, um, tries to come against me. St. John's to me is the best place to be, you know, um, especially if you are trying to find yourself. Um, I haven't found anywhere else here um, in Raleigh um, to where you could be you, you know, no matter who you are, you know, you could be you, your love, you know, um, you're able to be in a place to where you're not judged, you know, and I just want to tell people, just be you. You know, that's the only thing you can do is just be you and know that no matter who you are, you're loved.